we both do to, to the weight being a huge part of just like shifting our lives. And um, for me, it gave me so much clarity. It gave me so much discernment. Um, I just wasn't um, in the past years where I have my physical relationship because I felt like I, I deserve this, you know? Even if I don't, I know that I'm doing the right things. I'm trying to be the best I can be, and especially in an area that is the most difficult area. If I can get that under control, it just, it changed my work ethic. It changed my work ethic. And to promote phenomenal. But you said it's giving you clarity. It's, I mean, it's it increased both of you all's careers. So why don't you all give us a little background between, I mean, behind the inspiration and, uh, you know, when I was growing up in the church, you know, growing up in the church, everyone says, you know, you're, you're supposed to wait. Right. So the church tells us to wait, but they don't always teach us how to wait wow. or why to wait. And sometimes when you don't have the how and the why to wait there. And what was happening for me is that the public person that I was, was having no peace with the private person. Wow. Because I was preaching one thing and telling people one thing, but I was doing something totally different. Mm -hmm. And the two began to tear me apart. Wow. And so, we don't have power over it. Wow. And so I needed God to break it. He did. I got out of the relationship, but I had no idea that getting out of the relationship that I wasn't getting married for another, like, 11 years. <laughs> had no idea. You know, okay. My mother always saying, you know, relationship with God and really knowing God over religion. Um, and she always encouraged us to read our Bible. She always encouraged us just to really get to know him. Right. Um, and so... For me, I decided, you know, I'm going to wait till I'm married. And then that whole time, you know, he was um, a Christian as well. So we would both, like, be intimate. And then we pray. We repent. We both cry. We say we're not going to do it again. We wow. take a break. And then we go back together. And then it was kind of a whole cycle. And, and throughout my 20s, you know, I always felt very convicted. Mm -hmm. um, and I think because of the damage that I've been through in past relationships or my father not being in the home or yeah. growing up in this business in front of people, right. um, I think I, for me it was just like, I thought a guy that good was out of my league. Wow. My husband. Wow. And I was just like, okay. And I was like, well, what do I do with that? And um, God was like, nothing. Just focus on me. Just focus on you. Just focus on healing. Just focus on seeking me. Wow. Um, that was destructive. And um, and I would just felt, I would feel like I didn't deserve it. So I would try to push those things away or I would try to destroy them so that I didn't even have the option that I had to feel bad about it, you know? Wow. And wow. so um, I think that time for me was just kind of what God was doing. And then as I started speaking it, um, it was literally from the time that I knew he was my husband to the time he actually asked me out, it was nine months. And um, yeah, but then it was like after nine months, 10 months, I never thought. Wow. Because I wasn't looking for love, I wasn't looking to, you know, fall, you know, head over heels, and I never wanted to date an actress. Now, I know that may sound crazy, but in Hollywood, you know, it's like, I didn't want to be getting on your industry. You don't sure, want someone sure. in the same industry, because you want your life to have a little diversity. Yeah. That's right. And so what was interesting is that I was initially thinking about, well, maybe I don't do this, because she's famous, you know, paparazzi known around the world, right. and I was afraid. And wow. literally, God said to me, you know, I said, well, God, I don't know. Is this really who I'm supposed to be with? Is this what I want? Right. And God says, you've been asking me to bring you the right person. And what do you think it should whoa. be? Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I mean? You almost missed your blessing. Right. Because of the rapping. Because, of the rapping. because see, sometimes <laughs> God will bring us the right gift. To, because the packaging looks different. We reject. Sometimes we date based upon a list. We treat God like he's a clerk at a fast food restaurant. Wow. We place our order, and then if it's not right, we say, we told you what we wanted. We're not subject to our order. We're subject to his. Wow. Wow. And, and so with, and so part so of. It's countercultural. Well, it's, it's the truth. Yeah, because, you know, in church, we teach people, develop a list, develop a list, pray for your list, as opposed so, to teaching. Okay, I'm going to divert, but come right back to our thing. Here's the problem. When we use this list and we worship it, right. right? And then we marry someone and we begin to use the list as a barometer of whether Keep your right. hands off of each other. Now, I know y'all go into it in chapter four of the book, you give some steps, but tell us what was a, a, a really uh, helpful for you all um, to kind of, you know, wait. <laughs> because I don't think that you can stay in the wait if it's not tethered 
to something spiritual. Wow. It's not it's not just a practical thing, it's a spiritual thing. Talk about celibacy versus acid. Right. So 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 again, so with celibacy, <laughs> what the options you have you don't like. <laughs> so you're not doing it because of the options, not right. because you actually made a commitment not to do it. Wow. Celibacy is when you're waiting with purpose. You're waiting because you want God's best. You're waiting because you want to be the best person to do with you. But here's all I could do with you. Mm. Because you had no discipline in this area, I could not do everything I wanted to do with you on this <laughs> earth. And that kept me in it because I had, as a man, as a man, I believe that, that getting discipline in this area while you are single wow. is critical. Because it's not like all of a sudden you get married and if you were amassing out the demon of your sexual desires, all right? So it's not like all of a sudden I'm a mess sexually before I get married. I get married. Now I'm going to be a saint. It doesn't work that way. Wow. So it's important to get discipline in this area and to work at it. Is it easy? No. But can you imagine? But no, we're made in the image of God. That's right. You know what I mean? Right. We're supposed to be a living sacrifice. That's right. All right? That's what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be men of integrity, men of That's character. Right. Right. And, and I believe that we can get discipline if we endeavor to do that. Wow. And I think also you have to really set yourself up for success, you know? Wow, set yourself no, up for success. Yeah, I think that's super, super important. It's like you know, a lot of times, you know, and I said this earlier, it's like a lot of times you know when you're with that person, yeah, that's you know? Right. That's and right. so, um, other thing was, um, I think just mentally knowing the, the reality of, for me it was like, do I want to do something different? Or do I want to keep course of, of those relationships? And I just had to get in my mind that I really want to do something different. I really want to do it God's way. If I can get control over this area, there's nothing that I can't do wow. across my whole entire life. Um, and I think it's the you, you talking about 13 months, they've been 40 years, 40 years, I'm still <laughs> waiting, right? And they start to think to themselves like, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna give it. And they just want to accept any old guy and just, just, and, I, and I'm thinking about this because I always say, well, what would I say if I was in the same exact position right now? Um, first, you have to want God more than the husband or than wow. the life or than whatever it is. Um, we go in our way and then we start to not trust him. And I think that that really works against us because, it, you know, he talks about in the Bible, if you're waiting each way yeah. and you have doubt, then it, you, it's like you have no faith at all. That's right. You know, it's not a little bit or a lot. You either do or you don't. Right. Um, we don't get what we want because we're not focused on the right thing. We wow. make it so about that life, that husband, those children, whatever it is, that we focus all of our energy on that. God is kind of the afterthought. Like wow. we pray to him, but we pray to him about what we want, not about right. things. It's going deeper in him, making him your lover, making him really the center of your life in a deeper way. Than, and we can always go deeper. Wow. No matter how deep you are, you can always go deeper. Wow. Um, and then I think, you know, again, it's, it's seeking the key. For both of you, where you said he's the one, she's the one. I mean, how do you know exactly that this is it? Um, for me, it was really peace. It, it just, I just had a peace in my sort of love. But the more time that I began to just be open uh, to her and to our relationship, what God wanted to do, the more peace I had. And the more we got a chance to talk, I got a chance to understand we had similar persons. Our families were important to us. So we began to realize, and I began to realize that we were really compatible. Wow. And because not only was there that peace, but practically we could, I could see doing life with her. Mm -hmm. and, and I think sometimes, I it for my list. But in my spirit, I knew it wasn't right. Mm -hmm. But intellectually, it felt great. Right. And people loved the person. And my family loved the person. But I knew it wasn't right. And I think sometimes we trick ourselves into marrying. Wow. The family says, oh, man, that's you, you found the one? Right. But you know in the depths of your heart if that's true or not. Mm -hmm. And for her and I and for Megan, when, I, when we were dating, I just felt like, oh, wow, sure. is that love is. And the sacrifice that love requires. Wow. Because without that peace, then I don't know that any of we could have done it. Right. You know, so that was the telltale sign. Is is she the one? Yes. Where are you going and who are you taking with you? Wow. Wow. Where are you going and who are you taking with wow. you? Wow. 
Where are you going? And so when as we started dating, I was like, oh man, I know where I'm going. Right. And I, if she let me, I'm gonna take her with me. Back <laughs> <laughs> that up with some real practical yeah. things to make sure we were compatible. So we did four months of it. We went through finances and, and family issues and, mm -hmm. and baggage from previous relationships and how we view parenting. We went through just about oh, wow. marriage is about making you better. Marriage is about commitment. Marriage is about holding up a mirror. Um, and holding each other accountable, making sure that person is the best person that God has created them to be as best that you can, and learning the same thing as well. And so I think 